Hey everyone, welcome back to Parisian Strolls with me. It's street nomadism. Welcome to my new video today. We're heading to a place that's not just a market. It's a trip through Parisian history. Let's visit together Le Marché des Enfants Rouge. It's Saturday, April 6, 2024. The current temperature is around 73 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 1.25 p.m. That's La Durée and the famous macarons. La Durée is known for its macarons, which are made with two almond cookies filled with a ganache or buttercream. Here you go, folks. Welcome to Le Marché des Enfants Rouge, one of the best food markets in Paris. Don't worry, there's no spooky backstory there. We'll get to the name in a sec, but first things first. This ain't your average market, folks. This is a historic foodie paradise, dating all the way back to 1615. Yep, that's right, 16 freaking 15. That makes the Marché des Enfants Rouge the oldest covered market in Paris. Now, the name itself is a bit of a mystery. Some folks say it comes from an orphanage with red-cloaked kids here, while others claim it references a red-fronted inn that used to be here. Whatever the reason, it sure adds to the market's unique charm. Right. Enough history, let's get to the good stuff, the food. Look at this. Fresh baguettes piled high, glistening tomatoes, exotic fruits I can't even pronounce. It's a sensory overload in the best way possible. Back in the day, this was the little market of the Marais, feeding the trendy Parisians of this neighborhood. 
Some folks ain't feeling the heart attack on a plate special. This here looks a little more civilized. Fancy bread, maybe some brie cheese sticking out like a fancy French monocle. This one probably comes with a side of existential philosophy and a beret, right? Hon, 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 what kind of fancy fixins are in this bad boy, mon ami? <laughs> I do a seven now. Really? Yeah, I can really do seven. Yes. Do you want me to bring one? Or oh, I think I can come in with it. Do you want to try it up, right? Sorry? I'll make you try it up. Okay. Okay, you? Uh, let me show what Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you.
Now these here monstrosities, I mean, magnificent creations. Ain't your average Subway sandwich, folks. These bad boys are bigger than my grandma's head after a Thanksgiving dinner. Point to a giant sandwich. Oh la la, oh la la. Look at this line, dude. What are you guys waiting for? Seriously, what could be worth waiting this long for? I know, man, that's the famous sandwich spot. I mean, that's where you can eat the best sandwich in Paris, mon ami. Oh my goodness, this is looking so good. We do another time?
verrez vous, mais je verrai pour les autres. Quoi. So you said they don't, they taste good? Yeah. This ain't your mama's veggie burger, that's for sure. Layers of flavor in here, like a symphony for your taste buds. Maybe there's something to this French food after all. Just don't tell my mama I said that. Ooh, mama! that tiny glass they're holding, barely enough to fill a thimble. Where I'm from, we call that a taste test, not a whole drink. But hey, maybe that's why they're looking so relaxed, sipping slow, savoring every drop. These folks just chilling on the terrace, sipping on something that ain't a venti latte with oat milk. Maybe they haven't discovered the gloriousness of cold brew yet. But hey, they seem relaxed, taking it slow, watching the world go by. Maybe there's something to be said for that Parisian lifestyle. <laughs> Je vais vous dire, 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 je vais
Thank you. 
So next time you're feeling like your life needs a little more je ne sais quoi, hop on a plane to Paris, grab a croissant, and find a cozy cafe terrace to people watch. Who knows, maybe you'll even learn to appreciate the finer things in life, like fresh bread and sipping your coffee slow. Until then, see you guys, and thanks for watching.